Ambition to me means what you want out of life, um, and how you go about that, passion, and things you want to do. Um, my particular ambition was fun and have children, bring them up in a, in a what I call a good way, how I was brought up on a farm, eating good food, being respectful to people, enjoying your elders. Uh, and after all this time, it's still the same ambition for my mokos. Um, I'm extremely lucky because I've got a, a good long-term man, nearly 40 years. Um, yeah, the same ambition just to, to live life, I guess. For me, having a, a um, an accident a few years ago that cha it was a life-changing accident, I call it, but it was a good accident, and so I think it makes you how things make you uh, relive, reborn to see to keep keep that fire burning of what your ambition is. So I think. I'm 54 now, so I think my ambition's the same as it was when I was asked by my teacher when I was 12, what do you want to do when you grow up? And I said, I want to marry a farmer and have lots of children and I want to live on a farm. And nothing's really changed. The situation with the, um, with the water uh, environment um, stuff that's happening in not only in our little specific place here now, in, in Pukanui, but in New Zealand, Aotearoa, and the world is, is probably one of my biggies with my kids. So I have four children, aged 35 to 27, um, eight grandchildren, one's just been born recently on my birthday, so I'm extremely humbly lucky for, for, for that and being there. Um, but those things are what keeps me going every day to make sure our environment, as much as we can, look after it. I don't want to be more ambitious. I'm overloaded with ambition. I, uh, there's not enough time and hours in my day, I feel, and I don't even have any children at home anymore, um, to, to carry on. Uh, um, I'm going to meet with somebody today about um, the water. I'm going to fix my cow's fence that got out last night. Um, I, I feel like there's just so many people that come here and people that put in my past now f because of the water. Um, it's not out there in the public as much um, and that's my role I feel for our aquifer here is to make people or to help people understand what's going on right in our backyard here specifically.